into Wales because we're heading to Anglesey for a very special track day. Uh, it's organised by a friend of mine, Ollie Webb, and Adam Thorby from Supercar Driver. It's quite a special day because it's a very select few cars, which means there's not going to be too many cars on the circuit at one time, giving us lots of space to play around. But also, the cars which are going are also extremely tasty. I'm super excited about it because the last time I was there, if you're one of my early viewers, you'll know the last time that I turned up on a track day in Anglesey was actually with the 458 Speciale. Today I'm going in the GT3. I know, I know, if you watch my other videos, you'll have probably expected me to have taken the 675 LT and I was really hoping on taking that car. And up until yesterday, I was. Uh, but it transpires that um, McLarens, particularly the LT, uh, have to have a pre-track inspection by a McLaren dealer before they're allowed to go on track. Now, I'm not sure if that's a one-time thing or not. I'm going to find out all about this and I will let you know in future videos. But the rumour is that if you don't have this inspection done and then you go on track and spank it and something goes wrong, um, whatever goes wrong might not be covered by warranty. So I wasn't willing to risk that happening. You never know. It'd be sod's law that I went on track, something broke, and the small print would shaft my ass and say, sorry, you aren't covered, you haven't had the uh, check, and now something's broken. So, yeah, sorry about that. I am gutted because I was really, really looking forward to taking the LT on one of my favorite circuits. So, anyway, now we're in the GT3 instead. Obviously a fantastic track weapon. Still gonna be an amazing day, but I'm equally as excited to see what other tasty cars turn up. So, bit of a journey yet. I'm gonna hit the stereo, hit the exhaust, and see you in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, we have arrived. We finally arrived at Anglesey. Last time I was here, it was kind of blowy, breezy, rainy. Today, beautiful blue skies, amazing. The location here is absolutely stunning. It's definitely one of the most beautiful tracks in the UK. It's right on the coast. I'll try my best to capture some of that later on. But I've just done my first two sighting laps to get familiar with the track. Without further ado, I think it's time to don the helmet and hit the track in the GT3 at Anglesey for the first time. Let's do it. Okay, skid lid on in the GT3. Beautiful sunny day on track. I'm looking forward to this, man. I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be interesting as well to compare how the GT3 on Anglesey feels compared with the Speciali. Now, don't get me wrong, I haven't been here for quite a few months, so the memory of the Speciali on here isn't super fresh, but I kind of remember how it felt. So let's go out and give it a go. Oh, also, we have a no noise limit day today, which means this Sharkworks exhaust can scream and shout all at once and everything will be amazing. All right, let's take you for a tour of Anglesey Circuit. Coming past the start finish straight, pits on your left. There's a quick sharp dab on the brakes here after the first corner. for a patient right-hander. Just clipping the curb there, running wide, let the car run wide, and then push straight on. Dab a 
brakes here for a trailing throttle right hand corner particularly important with a GT3 with the engine weight out the back to maintain that balanced throttle it's my favourite right hander run wider they clip the barrels here for a hard braking uphill the uphill really helps you shed off those speed towards this tight left hander and again this is quite a patient section of the track you have to be progressive with the throttle out of this corner and in the GT3 you dab on the brakes and hold it in third as you tuck the nose in towards this beautiful crest which opens up the entire world as you come over it drop down the hills, maintain third and keep tucked in towards the apex running out wide to the fastest part of the circuit heavy braking with the longest straight Anchor on down here, quite deep in, into the corner, sacrificing entry speed for exit. Run wide, and back down a long straight. Back towards the start. Heavy anchors on here, very tight at the left hander. Have to be careful here, if you get on the throttle too early and it spits you out, people have been known to get into the wall there. And that's Anglesey. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a professional racing driver, but I'm just taking you along for the ride, really. Pretty confident my tyres are dead. <laughs> Particularly after that run, that was fairly swift. We came in these tyres all day, actually. Man. All right, we're back in the pits. Just gonna give the uh, car a quick check over, tyres a quick check over. Plenty of grip so far, it's actually pretty sticky. I mean, oh yeah, that is. You can see it. You can see the stone sticking to it, but if I, I can put my fingernail in that, the compound's getting soft, it's doing its job. And you know what, so far, I mean, what was that? Six or seven laps, about then? Tires are actually holding up pretty well. They didn't really fall off either. They just got up to temperature, but look, you can see here, picking up some marbles. Uh, the end of a track day is just clogged up with so, with so much stuff. Oh, listen to that, that cheeky SV there sounding pretty fantastic. Yeah, so everyone's just coming off their first laps. So far, so good. Everything's awesome. All right, so here we are on the grid, lining up for what's gonna be a fantastic photo shoot. You know, for the last few weeks, I've been trying to come up with words to describe things. I've even looked through a thesaurus, and nowadays I carry a dictionary with me. It's not doing it any good. So instead of me trying to describe to you what the hell is going on, it's much better for me to show you this is YouTube after all. So. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to take you for a beautiful grid walk amongst some of the most fantastic cars I, that I've seen in quite some time. Supercar days. How's the day going, man? Oh, awesome. It's just been so good. I mean, look at the weather that we've got. We've got well, all these stunning, mountains in the background, and yeah, everyone's loving it. The cars we've got here. You got a mono coming past one minute, then an F40 the next. It's unbelievable. The parade lap earlier. I know it was steady, but so far it's been my favourite bit. Just being surrounded by all those cars. I can't wait to actually get back and check out all it's this footage. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah man. no, it's been it's been crazy. Like you say, that parade lap when you're seeing that amount of cars, yeah. of, of millions of pounds worth of rare, brand new all these cars surrounded and yeah. just to see him like cruising in between we were having some fun so where we have a selfie fun. stick out with them all. that picture i'm looking forward to getting it because i don't think i've ever had a car so close to my car <laughs> like, the picture looks so good you held your nerve absolutely bad so supercar days what's it all about man what was the idea behind it yeah well basically supercar driver owned, owned by adam and, and, yeah. and the guys the we decided well what can we add that's really special and doesn't yeah. exist anywhere else so we sure. thought 
well, supercar days, we can do these no noise limit, private, invite only for supercar driver owners only events Fantastic. where people don't have to worry about quantity of numbers or the noise yeah. of their Aventador or SV that you can't use on any other track in the UK yeah, except it's cars. Crazy, isn't so it, it's right? cool. The only time I've been able to take the car on track since I've had that that exhaust fit yeah. is the BRDC day with yeah. you. And now every everything else I get kicked off. We're just gonna so have to do more together. We're just then. gonna have to do more, man. So to organise events like this with no noise limits might not sound a big deal but actually it is it's amazing yeah. how many track day cars are too loud for the track yeah exactly especially the newer ones coming mm. out especially with the exhaust people putting on they're so yeah. loud that all of a sudden it's like oh i can't enjoy it and, and you don't uh, want to take your madness, exhaust on enough all the time absolutely man so but no thanks for organizing it but it's, it's, it's been coming. great and if listen if you've got a car which you found is too loud check out supercar days so far it's been absolutely fantastic so thanks very much man awesome thanks for coming Thank all right last run of the day is not in my own car but in a bac mono i drove a bac uh when they were they were in their first or second year of production it was their gen one car and since then they've come such a long way so i'm super excited about it let's chat less and drive more let's hit it Well, that was pretty ridiculous. I only had three laps in it. The Mono, it's exactly the kind of car that is perfect for a track day. But it's also the kind of car that you want to spend a lot of time in to get to know it. Uh, today, the front end on it is set up to understeer more th than normal because they've been giving test drives. So for safety, today is understeered a bit. Turning still great, but I can imagine when that thing is set up properly, it must be an absolute weapon. What I want to do now is buck in a proper track day with one that's fully set up. I think this is the Gen 1 car. Uh, I believe they now have a Gen 2 with uh, slightly more power uh, and a few more um, tweaks. So yeah, someday soon BAC, let's get up and out. Maybe Alton Park, great circuit for it. I do not know how to end a Tuesday any better than this. Just take a look at this view with me right now. It's next level. I, I, that is a word I'm using a lot lately, but truly, it is absolutely breathtaking. So right now, we're lining up for the last photo shoot of the day. We've got uh, people flying around with drift carts and all sorts of stuff on the uh, track. Yeah, taking it all on board, guys. Definitely the best way to end a random Tuesday evening. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.